You have been studying for hours and swear that you haven't learned anything. What should you do? It will help if you know more about powerful tools available to help you remember valuable information. Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and these are Compelling Hacks for Retaining Information. There is a big difference between memorizing and absorbing knowledge. One might get you through the unit test, the other will get you to where the knowledge is built into your understanding of your world and your career field moving forward. You have heard this before and you will again. Keeping yourself healthy and having good life habits will make retaining information significantly more straightforward. Get sleep, exercise, stay hydrated, eat well, and live with optimism. If you care for yourself, your brain will be significantly better prepared to help you integrate what you are learning. Hone your ability to focus, be in the moment. If you spend all of your time wishing you were somewhere else, you aren't paying attention to what you need to do right now. Practice keeping your mind on the lecture or the readings you are involved with. The more you are in the moment as concepts are explained, the better you will understand them. There are times when your brain will simply get stuck on a concept. It will keep leading you back to that topic. To remain focused, try writing the issue down. Let it go by knowing that you will come back to this topic later. Then, when you have time to, go back to that issue and resolve what is distracting you. If it is a concept you don't understand, study the topic more. If it is a personal issue, work to find a resolution. If it is a topic that can't be resolved, practice compartmentalizing. Give the problem concerning to you a time to use your brain and then have time when you exclusively focus on your studies. Plan your studies. The location, time of day, climate, lighting, and reducing background noise are all critical to retaining the information you are studying. Recognize the rhythms that tell you what time of day is best for your ability to focus. You may find that having different locations for different classes helps you concentrate. Remember that you need to remove distractions. Silence your phone. If you have music playing, make sure that it gives you energy, yet doesn't bleed your focus. Control what you can and ignore what you can't. As you take notes in class, no, let me rephrase that. Take notes during class. Writing information down helps your brain to connect one concept to the next. As you are in class, writing down the main concepts the instructor shares have a column on either side of the page where you can note words that you need to look up or concepts you need to study more carefully on your own. After class, take a few minutes to write a summary of the information covered in class. Make sure your notes make sense and fix those areas that are not self-explanatory. Then look up anything in the margins to make sure you understand each. Try mapping connections in the information as you review your notes and readings. Create an actual visual map of how the data is connected. Add in information you have learned from other sources related to the concepts you are mapping. Physically draw the connections you are making between the ideas you are learning. Review your notes, maps, and any study guides provided multiple times before you need to utilize the information for papers, projects, or tests. Spend 30 minutes a week reviewing all the materials from class. Do this for each class. Note any concepts you don't understand and set aside time to do that research. The following week, review this week's notes plus last week's information. By keeping all you learn in a class fresh in your mind, you can save yourself significant amounts of time trying to cram all that information into your brain the week of the test. You also have heard that memory techniques make learning more vivid. These include mnemonics or a creation of a word or sound whose component letters represent a particular portion of the concept. These can work and work well to help you remember names, dates, or parts of an issue that have formal names or a chronology that are vital. Use your mnemonics to make connections between information. It is those connections that lead to a working understanding of the details. You can also sing the concept or use a physical movement to help you remember the list of items you need to understand. Utilize all resources available to you. Visit with your instructor during their office hours. Find videos online that can explain the material in a way you can ingest such. Have discussions with classmates about a topic to hear their understanding. Do whatever you need to do to feel comfortable with the issue. If you are wondering if you are grasping a topic, 
try teaching the concepts to someone else. In explaining it to someone else, you can hear the deficiencies in your strengths and your knowledge. Test yourself. Use the study guide, flip cards, online quizzes, or tests you write for yourself. Measure your understanding. If you have a concept down, focus on those areas that show a deficiency in your knowledge. If you make a mistake, good. In researching the correct answer for a question you got wrong, an opportunity for information retention presents itself. We tend to remember what we got wrong and subsequently what the correct answer is after looking it up. If you have a tough time understanding any of the information you are trying to retain, go for a walk or run, shoot baskets or do yoga. Using physical activity as a backdrop for reviewing facts or learning connections and information will increase your ability to retain those concepts. All of this studying doesn't have to be dry, dull, or a chore. You can make it fun. Set up rewards for yourself. Involve inspiring people. Use a location that is energizing and allow yourself to celebrate your progress. Retaining information is a matter of focus, making connections, and finding the resources you need to be successful. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or perhaps consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below.